Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use scheduling on squareup.com. So this is going to be a beginner tutorial. We'll be showing you how to set yourself up on Square Up here for appointments or Square Appointments. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do here is we first have to sign up and visit their official website. So you could go to squareup.com and you should be able to see their website. Now in this case, where do we actually see Square Appointments here? Well, it's actually under the product section here. So hover over products and from here you should be able to see the appointments POS. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, you should be able to see the Square Appointments page. So you should be able to see some information about this one, like a simplified way to schedule or scheduling, maximize your POS, and a lot more. Now to get us started, just click on the button here that says get started, and this should actually redirect you to the sign up page or the login page. Now in this case, you need to create an account with Square Up here or Square. So you need to enter your mail, your mail here, confirmation of your email, as well as your password here that you want to use also you need to agree to terms and privacy policy and e-sign consent so i would suggest you to sign up or make sure that you actually read into their privacy policies and terms because in this case you'll know what is allowed and not allowed within the platform itself so that you'll be able to protect, your, protect yourself just in case something happens in the future now in this case i already have an actual, actual account here i'm going to click on sign in and from here, what we need to do is we just need to provide all the login details that we have. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, if this is the first time that you're accessing the appointments page or appointments product here on Square Up, it should ask you a few things about yourself. So that includes uh, details about yourself. So first name, last name, your business phone, as well as your time zone. So let's go ahead and fill out those details. Now in this case, it's going to ask you to tell about more about your business. So in this case, you might want to indicate maybe I want to say this about f events and festivals and just hit on continue. And in the next page, it should ask you to tell, about, tell us about your staff and location for the following um, our shop. So in this case, the staff is just me and number of locations is just one. And number of uh, services offered, this is optional, but if you want to uh, indicate it, you could go ahead and do that. But for now, let's just hit on continue. And in this stage, it's going to ask you to tell us about the revenue. So estimated is, I'm going to say I'm not sure yet since I'm pretty new. So average ticket size here, you could also uh, not answer this one if you want to, but it is recommended to answer any questions that they have. For now, let's just hit on continue. And from here, it's going to give you the features that you might be interested. Like for example, if you want to customize a booking site or sell products items online if you want to. You also have the get paid option, so accept payments, credit, debit, invoice, and more. And prepaid and automated reminders and confirmation so for now i'm just going to choose these two services here and hit on continue and from here it's going to actually get square appointments on android os it's going to do that but for now we just let's go ahead and click on skip and from here it's going to configure square appointments account for you so let's just wait for it and from here that should actually load our dashboard so let's just wait for it now this is our, or this is going to be our dashboards. So first we first have to familiarize ourselves with what are things what we will be seeing here on our account. Now overview section here at the left panel here is a weird way for you to give uh, see an overview of your account. So if there is uh, anything that you haven't completed yet with setting up your account, like for example, set up or take payments or set up your location or create your services, this is where you'll be able to see it. Now also in the left side here, you'll be able to see your calendar. So in this case, you'll be able to see your current calendar. So that includes any appointments I have. So if you want to create a new one, you can go ahead and click on create here. Now waitlist here is from the name itself contains all the waitlist requests. So clients can join the waitlist through the online booking site. So in this case, yeah, you'll be able to add requests here. So if they personally reach out to you, you can actually add them to the waitlist here and it'll be you'll be able to track them. Now, I also have the online booking here, so that includes your channels and your settings, advanced widgets, and invite clients. Now, if you want to enable online booking, you can go and click on this one, and you should be able to uh, see your Square Online website here if you want to preview and edit it, add your booking flow to existing site, Instagram if you want to do that, and reserve with Google as well. Also, one of the other things that you can do here is your services here. So in this case, uh, from the name itself, this would actually contain the uh, services that you have. 
So for example, if you want to create a new service, what you need to do is just click on the create service at the top right here. And from here, you should be able to add the service here. Like for example, uh, this is just an example. I'm going to say singing lessons. And from here, you could go ahead and add a description, even edit the image here, add image or even colors if you want to. And from here, you could also have the current uh, download photo studio here, but it's just, uh, we want to ed uh, edit that, and remove that. We also have the locations here. So you could choose a location. So as you can see, we have rents and we will all, add all future collections if you want to allow that. And if you want to add a certain photos to further, uh, this, uh, basically a showcase the specific service here, you can go ahead and do that, add descriptions and even add the price here. So you could uh, uh, use a fixed or viable price here. Like for example, I'm going to say this is going to be $70. And the uh, this booking here is going to be $70. And if you want to add a variation image as well, you could go ahead and do that. Also of the duration here. So let's just say it is going to be one hour. Hours. So the minutes is going to be a zero. So every an hour of booking here is going to be $70 here. And also if you want to block extra time after a payment, you could go ahead and do that just to make sure that you have enough time to breathe and add processing time if you want to uh, add a um, pressing, uh, pressing time for this specific service. But this is for plus, so you need to have the additional feature for that. Also, we have the online booking option here, which is bookable by customers online. So if you want to assign team members this specific uh, type of service, you can go ahead and click on select here and add your team members. So by default, you have your name or all team members here. And we also have your price price with description if you want to do that as well. Now, also, you have resources here that are required a resource, but this is for freemium. We have variations if you want to uh, create multiple variations for a single service. Like for example, uh, if you want to make something very specific about singing or uh, something about a specific topic on that specific service, you could go ahead and add this one. Now, for now, let's just click on save here to save our changes, and that should actually add our service. Now also we have the image library here. It is uh, kind of different right now. So image library is a great way for you to keep track on what images that you're currently using. So for example, if you up upload a new image here, you should be able to start using it on your platform right now. So you just need to start using it uh, whenever you're creating something. Now we all have the resources, modifiers, the categories that we have right now. So obviously there's going to be a lot of things that you could do here on uh, square appointments. But for now, we want to uh, go back to our main homepage here. So let's go back real quickly here to the previous one. So we are back into the appointments page here. So again, we have the staff here. Like if you want to assign a specific person, you could actually add a staff here and assign them to a specific service if, if that is their specialty. So you just need to fill out their details here. So that includes their name, display name, work email, phone number, permissions, online booking if you want a lot of, and serviceable, serviceable book, bookable online. So if you want to edit this, like for example, for singing lessons only or visit example, go ahead and do that and yeah so from here on you should be able to start uh, editing 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 your staff and your service now if you want to edit your site you could go ahead and go to online booking go to channels and look for square online website in this case just click on preview and edit and from here click on preview and edit again and this should actually open up a new tab, which in this case, you need to choose a website. So I actually have two websites I already have on Square here. So choose Renzir. This is the site that we just recently created. Just click on continue. And this should actually uh, start the process on creating a website and editing our website. And from here, you should be able to see your current or preview of your site. So immediately, you should be able to see the service menu here and the following information that we actually added. So if you want to edit some uh, things here, like for example, if you want to edit your site, you should, you should be able to click on edit site here. So let's just choose this one. And from here, you should be able to change a few things here. Like for example, if you want to change the location and hours here, you could go ahead and click on that and you should be able to change the uh, 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 colors or even the things that you see here customize what it actually looks like for example maybe i want to say if you want to disable map you could go ahead and do that or enable this one or enable a section title here you can do that so depending on what you click here you should be able to edit those sections and as you can see it's actually ui responsive so whenever you click something here it would actually redirect you to that specific section and you'll be able to easily uh, uh, edit that 
Also, you have the service list here. So if you want to click on it, you should be able to see or the edit your service uh, serviceable items here. So if you want to use a custom selection here, you could go ahead and do that. So if you want to uh, use all vocable services that you actually added, you could go ahead and showcase that as well. But yeah, so once you're done editing your website here, what you need to do is just click on publish at the top right and you should be able to set up your domain. So in this case, you just need to follow the steps for you to set it up. So in this case, you need to find a custom domain here. So your site has been published, but if you want to use a, a specific site or a specific domain, for your website here, you could go ahead and do that. So uh, using a customized uh, domain could actually boost up your SEO. So your uh, ability to be searched on Google. So yeah, so you can see this is our, our website here. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.